Hello, I'm Ed Trillisim and welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. I would like to show you something that is 100% must have. Because smelting arrays in particular can take a lot of time to set up. However, with a bit of modded witchcraft, you can now do this. Which is as close to blueprints as we are going to get until they become an official feature. And we can keep going and we can keep going. And I think that is probably ooh, out of build range. Damn build range. Ruining my fun. But look at that. Go, my pretties. Go. Make them. Make the smelting array. Saving us so much time. And I will do the same again. Um, that seems about right. So, this is 100% a must-have in my view. Because when it gets to the mid to late game, you end up just trying to build row upon row of smelters. And this is done with a combination of two mods. The first is copy inserters, which I've actually done a video on before. And is a mod that basically when you shift click, you'll notice that instead of just copying the smelter, it also copies the inserters with it. And obviously you can place that down and great. You have a smelter with the inserters and that saves you having to put them on. But the other mod is something called Advanced Build Destruct. And I got this mod specifically to make the solar panel belt around my planet. Because placing these all by hand would be incredibly tedious. However, with Advanced Build Destruct, you can just take any item and then press Alt. And then drag. Click. And then suddenly, bam. You got yourself a load of solar panels. And you can do this with anything. And that got me thinking. Hey... If you can shift click to copy something and then alt to just build many, what happens if you shift click a smelter which has copy inserters on it? Well, then you've copied that entire blueprint effectively. And then if you press alt, you can place all the smelters down. Just like that. This is saving you having to place, what, 60 inserters, 30 smelters by just doing a few clicks, drag, let go. The only downside is you do still have to place belts because obviously they're a separate object. You can't copy the belts along with the smelters currently, although hell, the mods are getting so good. Maybe that'll be the case soon. But with this, you're just able to set up huge smelting arrays like that incredibly easily. This would have taken, what, 10, 20, maybe even longer without mods. And now we're able to do it in like two. And mostly because my drones are just a little bit on the slow side. And let's do that again. Now, you'll obviously have noticed that in addition to not having, you know, belts being copied, we're also not copying um, power poles obviously they're a separate object. However, there is a thing for that. Currently, I've got this set to being as close as possible placement. So, although you can place a smelter there, the mod actually won't place them quite so close. Um, actually, it will there. It just won't down here for some reason. Yeah. Uh, if we finish this off, though, do, 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 place you there. Place you there. That's a huge smelting array. Effectively enough to convert 150 iron per second from the ore. And we did it just like that. The real downside right now is that my drone tech is still yellow science drone tech. So my drones are not as numerous and pretty slow. So the only real downside is that it really shows how slow your drones can be. But you're now probably saying, oh, well, at least you have to place the power poles by hand. No, you don't. As I mentioned, it places them a set distance apart. And while you can place one, easy enough, with power poles, you can also do your alt drag. Sure. But what if you alt drag between your smelters? We would say do this. One. Alt drag. Okay, sure. But you're placing a lot of power poles. You don't need that many power poles. Okay. With the Advanced Build Destruct mod, if you press the plus button, you increase the spacing between your power poles, or whatever you're copying. And now, we could just 
place this down all the way to the end. And this will cover everything, I think. Uh, there are a couple of things that won't be done on the bottom row. but Place those. Drones fly out. And this is basically good to go. The only thing we'll have to worry about is occasionally we do have one insert on the bottom row not covered. Which, funnily enough... If we use the plus icon. Just keep increasing the spacing. I think that covers not quite everything. Okay. There. Not build here. There we go. And then this one there and one there. And that's our huge smelting array. Done. It's incredibly simple. And it's such an amazing combination of these two mods. In fact, they're so good, I fully anticipate that this might be made into a core game mechanic relatively soon. Because damn i honestly think that this is 100 necessary i don't think i've ever come to this conclusion with any mod i may have said hey this is necessary but this i think is 100 needed because especially in the late game when you're placing so many smelters because smelters don't upgrade like a few other things you don't want to be placing like this is 150 smelters we just placed and it's that easy it's incredible There we go. Done. Of course, you don't need to do it just with smelters. You could do this with fabricators. You could do it with, I don't know, chests or whatever you want to do. But also, if you do want to just use the advanced build destruct mod just for the funness of it, you can then just say, hey, I would like to... Or let's go with there. Cannot build here? Oh, right. I've still got it set to the max... Note the number down the bottom, 36. Let's just decrease that. That's our spacing. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, we'll put it in zero. So you could just be like, hey, I want to place a load of solar panels really easily. The advanced build destruct mod is great. Now make sure you have it up to date. A recent update did break it and I was having some trouble, but there was immediately a patch out for the mod. And you can just place a load of solar panels like so. Hell, you could do the same with power poles. That way you don't have to keep being like, are we in range of our power pole? If you want to place more, you could just go, okay. Well, what's the max range we can place a power pole that will connect? About there. So. That's what? One, two, three. Sure. So we place it three. Alt. Increase our spacing. Yeah, there we go. And then we should see they all connect. And much simpler than trying to be like, okay, are we in range? Are we in range? No, we're not in range. Okay, back a bit. There we go. It makes placing things so much easier. So both the copy inserters mod and the advanced build destruct mod are now go-tos in my opinion. Like they are 100% necessary. They will go on every save. They will go on every game I play. I am not playing vanilla vanilla, but obviously this is pretty much close to vanilla. There's nothing that changes the actual functions of buildings in my current setup. But dear God, this is fantastic. Get the mod. You can get it off uh, dsp.thunderstore.io. I put a link down below. I definitely recommend using the R2 mod manager to just deal with it because that is effectively a mod manager that will allow you to download. And then you can say, I want to start DSP vanilla or I want to start it with this mod profile and you can have multiple different mod profiles so I recommend you use the R2 mod manager as it stands and I 100% you suggest you get these two mods they are great and I do believe they do need a dependency mod but obviously R2 mod manager will deal with that for you so I've been entering listening if you have liked this video please remember to like you're not subscribed please consider subscribing get it it's great seriously I'll put links down below just these mods get them now it is the advanced build destruct mod and the copy inserters mod 
It'll make life so much simpler for you. Also, if you do want to like and subscribe, um, comment, all those things great for the algorithm, you can also check out my Discord. It'll be linked down below, the uh, link tree one. Until next time, stay shiny.